This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Earlier this year, we saw the release of the Tonex, and this was a thing that I thought that people had been asking for for a long time from Kemper. Uh, yesterday at 5 p.m., this was announced, and this, this appears to be what I think might end up cannibalizing quite a lot of Kemper's sales. Uh, you know, I thought the Tonex was the thing that literally I've seen people talking about for ages, you know, Tone Junkie included, asking for a smaller Kemper style thing that people could put on their pedal board. And it seems this is exactly what people are asking for on Kemper's website directly. You see the price there, 499.22. Now that's gonna, you'd have to add on to that uh, VAT in the UK. Um, on Anderton's 619 seems to be the street price. We can also see some other photos here. Um, so you can see there's a left and right out, monitor out, guitar goes in here, expression pedal, phones, uh, an XLR. So kind of like mini mixer size. The other cool thing about this is you've got four effects that could be run and you've got a post effects blocks where you can put delay and reverb and you'll have spillover as well as I think there's 10 banks of five, which also you can switch between uh, seamlessly. So I think you've got basically more than what you could do with the Tone X, essentially. And obviously you've got all of the effects in the Kemper, which I think are actually super underrated. Um, some of the, you know, reverbs in there, some of the delays in there are amazing sounding. And also the newer, uh, kind of Kemper drive block and the Kemper fuzz block are really really good the only downside is it can't do profiling right so this is kind of like yeah it shares quite a lot of stuff with the full size Kemper but it cannot do the profiling thing which I guess a lot of people never use anyway right um, but what it does have Rig Manager, which is slow to use, but new liquid profiling, cross-fading rig switching, so smooth delay and reverb spillover. No artificial scene handling is needed to achieve smooth transitions between rigs and effect settings. That's kind of a point. Um, high quality instrument input takes an external distortion pedals and effects like a tube amp. And I think that what they're kind of missing here is that these will be part of generally I'd imagine other kind of effect boards which typically I've seen a lot of people using Kempers with as well but this kind of seems to solve that in a big way uh, controllable output groups can load IRs full USB audio capabilities so it's also an interface um, dual expression pedal an external switch Spectral noise gate, pure cab is on. So it's got basically all of the stuff from your, your big Kemper. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Is this the sort of thing that you were looking for? For me, I feel like I've already had a couple of people, I think three even, jump into my uh, messages and say, have you seen about this? This is, you know, would you grab one of these? I think for, for a lot of people that are never going to make a profile, which is, I think, quite a significant chunk of folks, you're gonna maybe prefer this as an option. I have to say, if this was an option before the uh, either Kemper stage or Tonex had come out, I think Tonex probably wouldn't have made much of a splash considering this is, I think you've already probably got a massive library of great profiles out there and people that are making profiles, you know, whether it's Embrit, Tone Junkie, um, uh, Guido, you know, I can't pronounce the second part of his name, but there is a whole chunk of great profiles already made out there. Um, this I think would have been really welcome like a year or two ago. Um, and Tonex, I don't think would have made quite as much of a splash if this had existed already. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Cheers. <laughs>